All right, we're just having so much fun here answering questions from you all regarding uh, moving to 5D. So Ron, here's the next question. Can we interact with loved ones in 5D? And if so, is that something where we can touch them or is our contact in spirit only? This is an excellent question and there's not a, a real definitive answer that you can say like yes or no. Um, because there's so much that you are creating for yourself and so much that they are creating for themselves. And um, if you're going in the same direction, then there's good opportunities for you to participate with your family. See, uh, don't think that the third the fifth dimension is a place. Don't think that because it's not. It's, it's a vibrational state of being that you create for yourself. So um, can we have uh, experience with, with our families? Uh, do you want to? Those who don't want to go through the process, you can always come down, but it's very difficult. When I say difficult, it's, it's hard on you because you have to change so much to, to lower your vibrations. And if they're in a low vibrational state, it's a little difficult to get there. Uh, Jesus had his problems after he ascended. Then coming back and, and being with his family was he didn't do that very often. He did it, but it, it's hard for, for him to stay in that because it, it lowers his vibration so much that it's, it makes your... It makes you feel distorted, makes you feel uncomfortable. You you do so for the benefit of your family, and you can do that. But you don't do it for yourself because you already, you know, the love never dies that you have for them. And yet you have to be sure that you understand they are separate individuals. They are separate creators from prime creator. They're having a fifth dimension or third dimensional experience because they wanted to have the experiences that they can only have in fifth dimension. And uh, yeah. so that's why it was created. It's a playground. Third dimension is a playground that we creations of prime creator created so that we could have an alternative way of understanding who we really are. If we come in here and uh, and we don't know that we're light and we go into the darkness and we light it all up, now we know that we are the light. Without that experience of going into a dark place, you don't really understand that you are the light or a light. And so those are the kinds of things that we're going to learn about so that we can feel at home and understand what's going to happen. Now, leaving people in fifth dimension or third dimension is appropriate for the same reason that each person is creating their experiences that they want to have. And it's not our job. We honor dominion. We honor that as in that's their domain. That's their kingdom. You stay in your own kingdom and you create what you want in your own kingdom. Don't cross over. Don't cross over. It only hurts you. So power over other people is not acceptable in the heavens, period. Get that in your mind. It is not acceptable to have power or exercise power over other people. That's why I don't want to be a leader. That's why I don't want people to follow me. I am doing my own thing, and you need to do your own thing. <clears throat> don't follow a leader. Don't follow anything outside of you. You can mimic. You can you know, do what you feel is, is appropriate because you have free agency. But I feel very uncomfortable when somebody says, Ron, we'll follow you wherever you go. I just created Love One Society, and it's a, it's a, a structure. 
for for whomever wants to use it if they qualify and get the funds from their redemption appointments. That's all it is. And you sign up and I need to teach how to do stuff. And so I kind of spread it over a little bit in some of these higher dimensional understandings because we are in the process of ascending. We're ascending with Mother Earth. And it is our responsibility to ascend with her. This is why you have thousands, perhaps millions, or perhaps even billions of visitors from other locations in our galaxy, in our universe, and other universes who are coming over to see how this happens. Ascension with a surfaced Earth. And the earth is ascending, and we're trying to ascend. We're going to ascend with her, Mother Earth. So those are the kinds of things that we have need to have an understanding of and start changing our lives to accommodate some of these higher laws and these higher understandings. Fifth dimension is not a place. It's a vibration. And those who feel comfortable there are those who have raised their vibrations to create their experience in a fifth dimensional vibration. Like I said before, you can go on up if that's what you would like to do. You have the free agency. You are the one in charge of your life. I hope that helps. Excellent, Ron. Okay. And right there at this point, we will stop and come back to our next question.